Well, this little tip will be using the uh, rule of thirds grid today. And I can move it around. I'll show you in a moment. I've been working on this little um, composition of tree frogs for a little while now. And I've been using Corel Draw 6 and prior to that, other newer, older versions rather. And each frog here is an individual um, clip. And this frog is really um, a total picture. Um, I should just open it up for you. It's a power clip and you'll see it's a full picture. And all I did when I was back on the main screen is use the freehand tool and just trace around the frog very loosely actually. And this created its own power clip in the shape of the frog. And then I popped him into this power clip. And so I can come out of it now. I'm finished editing this level. But I can still move him around, which is wonderful because I might not like him there. Or when I want to make sure that I have my center of interest, then I need to move him. And you'll see that this is the same thing. And so is this little fella. I can move them around, you see. Including the pot. Very helpful and very... <clears throat> Let's use the grid. Each over here in this yellow grid here, each intersection can be used for the center of interest in your painting. You don't want to put anything right dead center as a rule. So in this case we're going to try and keep our center of interest up in this intersection here. Okay, so this I'm going to lay over my composition and because I'm using that upper right intersection I'm going to put the cross hairs right over his eye. And that is a good place for my center of interest to be sitting. Now if he wasn't quite on, I can still move him, you see, because he's up front. This little fellow is a secondary uh, intersection. Now, I'm not sure that I want him, oops, because this is sitting in the front, I can't get to the back one. I might be on to there, I don't know if I can or not. Okay, I could move him over to here. Well, let's try it. So we'll go up here and we'll send the grid to the back of the layer. Now I can get at my little friend here. And I can guess I'm going to move him. It wasn't much. Let's just try that. Now I need the grid back in the front, so I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to go to order. And I'm going to bring him to the front there. No, see? It still isn't quite there. So I'm going to undo that so that it saves time. And I'm going to move him there. Now let's try bringing this to the front again. The order, front of the layer, closer. Hmm. I could try one more. Up a bit. Okay, let's try this. There. No. I still think I would like him down a hair. There, let's try that. Bring it to the front. That's better. Okay, now he is secondary and he is smaller and because this one over here is a lot brighter and more colorful, he'll stand out and there'll be light flowing through the branches here. That'll draw attention to him. And this little fella down here, although he's the same type of frog, he's smaller and most of his body is not showing. So he's, he's not a, a drawing card, so to speak. So we have our composition and our center of interest pretty well situated. And we can follow this painting through up to the leaves. We rest our eyes here for a while and take in this frog and all his colors in detail. Then we move on. We can see 
a different kind of tree frog here and he's looking towards this fellow so it can draw our eye back to here and this one could send us down to our secondary here and then we have this frog he draws our attention and back up to the center of interest so there we have it hope you enjoyed it